Oh hey there, Moose on the Loose Mel here. Today I'm going to be testing a 3-in-1 meter which tests pH levels, light, and moisture levels and you use it in your garden or in your potted house plants. Now I've seen a couple other videos online but the tests weren't thorough enough for me so I'm just going to do a couple tests myself. So here it is in the package. The uh, green bulb at the top has little gauges in it and then it's got these two metal prongs. And on the back has the instructions. And the best part about this thing is it doesn't need batteries. So as per the instructions, you just press it into the soil and make sure you clean it off afterwards. There's various plants on the back and zones and water levels. I have no interest in that. Let's just rip her open. So this cost me $5 online. Uh, I've seen it at my local Walmart, Amazon, it's available everywhere. So on the front here, there's this little slider button. It says moisture, light, and pH. First thing I'm going to test is the light. On the front here is a little sensor, and I've got my flashlight here. So I'm just going to flash the light into the sensor and see if it changes. Oh yeah, I can see. So on the left-hand side, it says dark. Right-hand side, it says light. And as you can see, when I put the flashlight up to the sensor, it definitely slides over to light. So the little bar, it goes from 0 to 2,000. And I'm not too sure what their rating is. I think the thing online, the description said Lux. So yeah, light definitely works. So what I want to test now is the moisture part of the tool. Uh, in this mug, I just have plain old regular tap water, but I'm going to leave the button on light because I want to see if the gauge moves. And it doesn't. Okay, that's awesome. So it doesn't pick up moisture when the light button's on. So let's try the actual moisture button. Okay, so here we go, and oh, well the gauge moved. Here, let me move this a little closer for you. So, out of the water. And, okay, I actually thought that the gauge would move all the way to the right hand side. It's either dry or it's wet. Okay, well it's moving, so I'm going to try the uh, pH one next. So for this one, I was trying to think of a way to test the acidity, and I figured just using plain old regular white vinegar would do the trick. So that's what I'm going to pour into this cup. So like I said earlier, this thing doesn't take batteries, it doesn't take any electricity at all, it just operates as is, which I think is really cool. So for this test, I'm actually going to leave the button on moisture, because technically vinegar is wet, I want to see if it registers the moisture level. So, button's on moisture. Oh, buddy! Did you see that? It moved all the way to the right. It's like the vinegar activated the moisture gauge. I'm just going to throw it on light just to like do a neutral test. And it does nothing. Okay, that's awesome. Okay, I'm going to do the pH button now. Yep. The little gauge moved over. It's definitely reading the acidity. Yep, okay. You know what? I'm kind of curious which one of these prongs measures moisture and which one measures the pH. So I'm just going to try them separate. So, okay, yeah. So the one that's got a matte finish on it looks like it does the pH. And the shiny one does the moisture by the looks of it because it's not moving at all on the vinegar. You know what? I'm going to try it in just the water to see if that's accurate. Put it on moisture, and the matte one's doing nothing. Oh, okay, both of them. <laughs> yep, shiny one's picking up the moisture. I love that. Look how far over it goes. Now, while this tool is not the most scientific tool out there, I'm sure there's much better ones. I feel confident in saying that it works. I like that the button is uh, individual to each type of measurement that it claims to measure. So yeah, I mean, it's worth a couple of bucks. If you have an application for this on, in your house or on your property, go ahead and pick it up. So I hope this video was of use to you in helping you make a decision to either purchase it or not purchase it for that matter. So if you like the video, feel free to hit like, comment down below. Feel free to subscribe. Take care.